when you're diagnosed with a brain tumor, the first thing to do is to make a diagnosis to find out what kind of tumor this is. Because if it's a benign tumor, we have excellent treatments for that, and many of those patients can be cured and, uh, and live without any deficits. If you have a malignant brain tumor, uh, usually that has to be diagnosed by either a biopsy or a tumor resection, and then malignant brain tumors often need additional treatment besides surgery. Benign tumors uh, do not get into the bloodstream and spread to other parts of the body, so they do not metastasize. So in general, the tumor cells are contained or well-defined and do not climb throughout the brain. They don't get into the spinal fluid. Benign does not mean necessarily that it's not dangerous. So you could have a big benign tumor in a dangerous location, and that, doesn't, that, that benign tumor might not have uh, a low risk or a harmless outcome. On the other hand, a malignant tumor uh, means that the tumor is a cancer, that tumor cells uh, can climb along nerve fibers and spread out through the brain beyond what you can see on the MRI scan. Symptoms caused by a brain tumor can depend completely on the location of the tumor. Perhaps there would be loss of sight or what we call visual field loss, loss of peripheral vision, maybe double vision or numbness on the face. And as you proceed backward, then hearing loss or dizziness or perhaps uh, trouble swallowing or speaking. If the brain tumor rises in the brain itself, uh, then you can present with seizures or what's called epilepsy, an epileptic seizure. Other times, the tumor might be in the language or speech area of the brain, and someone will present with trouble talking or trouble understanding speech or perhaps weakness or numbness of one side or the other. If your tumor is malignant, then you need surgery or a biopsy, followed by radiation, often then followed by chemotherapy. And so that type of tumor needs uh, even more of a multidisciplinary team approach with multiple specialists from surgery to neuro-oncology to radiation oncology. Treatment options for benign tumors evolve around either surgery or radiation. And radiation can be given in multiple treatments, which is called radiation therapy, or all in one day, which we call radiosurgery. And uh, the radiosurgery tool we use here is called gamma knife radiosurgery. The gamma knife is a machine that delivers 201 x-ray beams through a, if you will, a, a giant uh, metal dome. And what we do is we put the patient's tumor right in the middle of that machine so that the tumor gets hit by every one of the 201 x-ray beams. But yet your scalp and your skin and your brain maybe sees no x-ray beam or one. That's not enough radiation to hurt your normal scalp make your hair fall out, or injure the brain. But as you get to the tumor, every one of those 201 different x-ray beams combine and deliver a very precise high dose of radiation to a small area. It has replaced surgery in some situations. So instead of coming in, having your skin incised, having some skull removed, having a tumor taken out, you can come in, spend a day with us, and we'll treat your tumor with gamma x-rays, and there'll be the same result. So that, but there'll be no incision, uh, there's no time away from work, and so that's the advantage of gamma knife. At Tufts Medical Center, we have seven different neurosurgeons, uh, four specialized in brain tumors, and, uh, and each of the other uh, uh, specialized in different areas of neurosurgery. We have dedicated spine specialists, uh, an endovascular and open vascular neurosurgeon, uh, a neurosurgeon specialized in uh, trigeminal neuralgia, aneurysms, AVMs, brain tumors, uh, benign brain tumors, malignant brain tumors, and pediatrics. Each type of tumor has uh, specific nuances or surgical techniques or operations, and so in order to have the, the best outcome, we really think it's best to super specialize into different kinds of brain tumors. So depending on the location and the type of tumor and what other treatments are needed, different specialists are brought in to be involved in your particular care.